In this video, we will look at the analyses required in Minitab and SPSS, leading to a calculation of the uncertainty in using a straight calibration line. This calculation is based around this equation, which shows the uncertainty ux in the x direction of an intercept at a value of ys in a straight calibration line, where SE is the standard error of regression, M is the slope of the calibration line, N is the number of values used to provide the calibration line, and K is the number of replicate measurements used to get a best estimate for the Y value, YS. Y bar is the mean value of the calibration points, and SX squared will be the variance of the X data values in the calibration line. Starting with the data in Minitab, we have the values of absorbance recorded against the standard values of concentration used to develop the calibration graph of a spectrophotometer. It is useful to check the linearity of this calibration first by observing the residuals of the data against a best fit straight line. So we go to STAT, Regression, Regression, the response variable is absorbance, and the predictor is the concentration, and we go to graphs, and we will choose standardized residuals, and we will request a graph of residuals against fits. So we click OK, and then run the analysis. In the graph, we see these standardized residuals plotted at each value of the observed absorbances. And we can see that there is an apparent curvature in the data in which the first five points show an apparent linear response, but with the higher points curving significantly away from the best fit straight line. This is not unusual in such calibration lines, especially where the higher concentrations show a reduced absorptivity, causing this curvature at the top of the calibration. However, in this analysis, we are only interested in the calibration range up to an absorbance value of about one. So it is convenient to ignore this curved part of the calibration line and just use the first five points. We can derive the same residual plot in SPSS by going to Analyze, Regression, Linear. The dependent variable in this case is the absorbance and the independent variable is the concentration. We will also go to Plots and the Y value for our plot will be the standardized residual and the X value will be the dependent variable which in this case is the absorbance and here we see the same data plot as in Minitab. Returning now to Minitab we go to the original data and we have decided to remove the two upper data values. And we will now rerun the analysis just using the, these five calibration points. Stat, regression, regression. We can now see that the five residuals provide a more random distribution on either side of the best fit straight line, which suggests that there is now no significant curvature within this section of the calibration line. We would also see the same result for these residuals in SPSS. The next step in the calculation is to derive the values for slope and intercept of the best fit straight line together with the standard error of regression. And we will see these in the session window in which we see that the best fit straight line is given by the absorbance is equal to a constant, which is the intercept of minus point zero 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 six, 
plus the slope 0 0.0140 times the concentration. If we look though at the standard error for the constant, we see that the standard error for the constant value is much greater than the calculated value for the intercept itself. So we can actually assume that within the limits of error that the intercept is zero. And this gives an equation for the best fit straight line of the absorbance is equal to the slope of 0 0.0140 times the concentration with the line of best fit passing through the origin of the graph. Within this data, we can also see the standard error of regression given by S is equal to 0 0.0177567. And then using these values, we can continue to calculate the X uncertainty in an intercept. In SPSS, we can also delete the top two values in the calibration data and rerun the regression analysis. And in the printed results, we see the standard error in the regression of 0 0.017757 again. And we get the same values for the intercept, which again we can assume to be zero, and for the slope, which in SPSS is recorded to three decimal points with a value of 0 0.014. So returning to this equation, we can see that we have already derived the standard error of regression, SE in this case, the slope of the best fit straight line, the value of M. And if we're looking for the intercept in the middle section of the calibration line, we do not need this last term within this square root. So now we have all the necessary information. However, for intercepts further away from the middle of the calibration line, we also need to calculate the mean of the y values in, ca in the calibration and the variance in the x values. And we can do this easily in both Minitab and SPSS. In SPSS, we would go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives, and we would select both variables, the concentration and the absorbance. And under Options, we would select to calculate the mean and the variance. Continue, OK. And that we can see under Descriptives, for the concentration, which is the X values, we have a value for the variance. And under absorbance, which are the Y values, we have the value for the mean. In Minitab, we will go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Display Descriptive Statistics. We would select both variables. And under Statistics, we would want the mean and the variance. OK. OK. And so here, for the x variable, the concentration, we would have the variance. And for the y variable, the absorbance, we would have the mean value of 0 0.0559. And so we have all the relevant variable values and so now we'll be able to calculate the X uncertainty in the calibration for any given Y value.